I was in charge of the council that monitored the information that we had on staff who wanted to have kids. When it happened, it was observed that the women were put down this path. They all would end up having an abortion. Now, I was part of the inner workings where we need to figure out who's going to sit down and have this conversation with this girl. Who's, in a, who's an in influence over their life? That's the way it works. Who's an influence? Because then we have to report up to RTC, ultimately to Dave, because our reports hit his desk. And you do that. It's like you know that this is going to the man. To the man, okay? <laughs> we would address the sensitivity of it, but it would be to the motor, to, to, to the benefit of the group. It would be, it wasn't be like, listen, bitch, you need to get an abortion. It's like, hey, listen, you know, how you doing? You know, who's the best person to have that conversation with them? Whether it was a guy or girl, their father, if their father was on staff or their mother, you know, you'd go that route. And the girl would be convinced to have an abortion. Or she would come out and say, so fearful that she would herself self-elect, I need to get an abortion, just in an effort to avoid. But the path always was, let's convince her to get an abortion. Yes, sir. That is a no joke. 